All right, part two. Um, so we came up with our x values, bang, bang. And now just like before, elimination method, we're not doing that, we're doing a substitution method. All we have to do is substitute these into uh, one of the equations. Um, the first one, we'll pick the first one out of thin air. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's, if this is a three, y equals three squared minus two, this will equal seven. Okay, um, so that means we have a point that looks like this. When x is equal to three, y is equal to seven. Three comma seven. Okay, now let's try the other one here, which is a negative one. Okay, y equals negative one in brackets squared minus two. This really becomes positive one minus two. Okay, y equals negative one. Okay, so when x equals negative one, y also equals negative one. Okay, there is our two points. It looks pretty accurate, right? Minus one, minus one, somewhere in there. Then positive three and up seven. That'd be that guy right there. Okay, so here are our two solution points. So we're not done. We don't have a word answer yet. So solving this, we say the solutions are minus one, minus one, and three, seven. The end. Okay. So remember, this section here. You might want to hit the rewind button. If you have a, another question about it, give me a holler, okay? And then all we did was we found what our x's were and subbed it in, okay? The whole idea of setting something to zero, you're going to get used to that a lot when we're trying to find solutions, okay? So get used to practicing this right now uh, the way it is there, okay?